Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate Juvederm. This is a vial of Juvederm uh, Ultra Plus. Um, it comes with one full syringe, and it's a hyaluronic acid. Um, it's great for the nasolabial folds for the lips, um, so we're going to use it like that. This patient's asleep, but we also do it awake um, on most patients, but she happens to be doing it while she's sleeping. So the injection technique is to place the needle right into the skin in one location, kind of just below the dermis. We are just deep to the dermis, and we're going to just, just, just carefully just fill the area is very, very small amounts as I'm pulling out. And then I just do choose to go to a different location. And again, just small little areas as I'm filling and I'm pulling out the needle. Uh, we just keep, I just keep changing. It's called a fanning technique. Um, the syringe goes right under the skin. And you can, it's, hard, it's very hard to see. I'm just putting little amounts in at a time to really kind of fill that as we go. Um, and after I get a good couple of passes in there, I'll pull the cannula out and I'll just kind of massage the product, the product in to make sure it's soft. Sometimes I'll put a direct injection right into the piriform, um, right into the piriform area to just give a little bit of fullness in that piriform. Um, give it a little bit more fullness in there. And then I'll just kind of do it all the way down along the, um, just right deep to the skin. So I don't want it to be too superficial so you can't feel it. And we're going right underneath there. Um, and just putting little tiny bits of Juvederm as we go all the way along the fold, just underneath the skin. And again, the fanning technique, just kind of putting a little bit in and then massaging as I go to give a nice fullness to the, to the um, fold, but then just stretching it out. Same thing with the marionette lines, the kind of corners of the mouth where we want to turn up the corners of the mouth a little bit. Um, same thing, small injections right at the corners of the mouth here just to fill the lips a little bit on the corners and kind of help turn the lips up. You have to really give a good amount of um, support here so the lips turn up. So I give a little bit on the sides there and then a little bit more in the marionette fold to fill those lines along the bottom of the mouth to really fill those corners. And so again, massaging that kind of spreading it all out so it really um, sticks where we want it to. And then the last little bit I'm going to use on her lips. She doesn't want big lips, but I'm just going to use a little bit right as a kind of a filler into the lips, just right along the corners of the, the, the borders of the lips, just like a liner, and just very small amounts right into the, into the lips, just to line the lips and give it a little fullness to the uh, upper portion of the lips. It helps with the uh, lipstick, it helps the lipstick stay in place, um, and kind of defines the corners of the, of the lips a lot better. So. It's really um, a nice addition to the lips. It doesn't make your lips big or pouty. It just gives a little bit of a fullness. You can just see that little bit of rim um, there and very, very small injection amounts um, to, uh, to give that fullness there. So now you can see we've done the top of the lip and give it a little bit of fullness in there. Um, just a little bit of uh, more fullness into the lip, little bit like a liner. Done the oral commissure and, get, and turned up the corner of the mouth a little bit. And then also done the entire piriform area uh, what we call the nasolabial fold to the smile lines, um, you know, the parentheses, and that's filled as well. And now we're going to do one more syringe on the other side. So that was one full syringe on this side, and we're going to do another full syringe on the other side.